Warning, this short video will be taken down soon. Please watch now. OCD and depression go hand in hand with most people simply by the fact that there are so many bad thoughts that go through your mind when you have OCD. It's not really that you have evil thoughts though, or anything like that. Rather, it's when you keep thinking about things that you don't want to think about. You'd be happy to know that there is an answer for all of this and you no longer need to suffer with the same thoughts over and over. One of the things that people with OCD and depression do is introduce new thoughts along with the unwanted thoughts. You see, you cannot fight thoughts because whatever you focus on becomes stronger, rather. If you focus on what you want to think about while allowing the unwanted thoughts to be there too, you'll start to see that you truly can change the way you think. When people with OCD and depression hear this, they become happy and get hope, which stops depression and turns it into happiness. You see, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and it is learning the skills that you need to, so that you can stop unwanted thoughts. What I just told you about is just one of the many. Now let's go further into it. You see, at the time that I'm writing this, I've had OCD for years, ever since I was seven. But I have had it and beat it for years, and I have been helping hundreds of people all around the world beat their OCD and depression. What you should know is that there is no quick fix or anything like that. You need to understand that anything worth having is worth working for, and that usually requires that will work. The reason why these pills don't work on OCD and depression is because they are attempting to change the chemicals in your head by force. This is really bad for you and can cause a lot of symptoms that you may not even notice at first, but I guarantee that your body does. You should give working at stopping an OCD another try, but you need to make sure that you do it right with the right guidance or it can all go very wrong and you may be making your OCD worse instead of better. One more thing that I should mention about OCD and depression is that with hard work, anyone that has it can beat it, and it is curable. I'm living proof of this after all. What I want you to do today is when you have your unwanted thoughts, allow them to be there, but introduce new thoughts that you want to think about and dwell on them. This takes practice, though. I have prepared some powerful materials that will help you get started on beating your OCD permanently, but they won't be free for long. Simply click the link under or next to this video or go to www.ocd-gone-in-7-days.com Are you still here? To get your free information on OCD and depression, go to www.ocd-gone-in-7-days. Thank you. See you there.